Hey everyone. So also excuse my appearance. Um, I've just been packing, so I like threw my hair back and then like put this up to keep like a lot of my hair out of my face. So uh, I yeah didn't really do anything special for this video. Um, last year I think I talked about this. It's a Sonia Kashuk traveling set. I got it from Target last year um, for like twenty bucks. So it has two compartments. So the first one you un like you undo. And I've got like some of my basics. I have a uh, toothbrush and toothpaste, my Paul and Joe serum, my Paul and Joe cleansing milk, um, this Neutrogena Power Clear Scrub. Um, I use that when it's like an emergency because it really clears stuff up fast. And oh, my Paul and Joe refreshing toner, but I sprayed it in this travel bottle that I found, so I can just spray it on my face. Um, my Urban Decay Naked Palette. Um, and then I have a bunch of brushes, tweezers, a, uh, a eyelash curler, and it's all in the, this pocket right here, are all my brushes. And it's brushes you guys have seen, nothing new. Um, so that's what's in that. And then the other side is face stuff. And um, I am bringing my MAC Studio Fix Powder in NW25 because that matches my skin now because I'm really tan and it has a mirror so that's good. Uh, my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Perfect Topping came out with Sugar Sweet. Um, a Milani Body Bronzer, it's like a gel. Um, my NARS uh, Santa Fe Sheer Glow Foundation because it matches my skin a little better now that my skin's darker. I would be bringing my Pollen Gel one but my skin is way too dark now. Um, my new product that I got in Spain, Dior Skin Nude Glow, NARS Madly Blush, um, a sample of a Bobbi Brown, no, Laura Mercier Tanning Gel from Nordstrom, the NYX Terracotta Blush, and this Alme Nearly Naked Loose Powder, just to set foundation. Flip it over and get to the other side. So in this pocket it's a little messier because I just kind of threw things in. My MAC 150 brush, my MAC 187 brush, um, my MAC palette, 210 brush for liner, and my um, Tokidoki blending brush. Yeah. Um, okay. So then I have this eye bag because it comes with two places to Velcro bags on. So my eye bag, you guys really want to see what's in here, it has shimmer strips, Physician's Formula, uh, Glam Hazel Eyes Gel Cream Liner, it's like a stack of three. I know I don't have hazel eyes, but I really like the colors. And I have a Sephora Glitter Gold Glitter Liner, I have um, Mint and Olive Liner from MAC, Choco Light Liner from MAC, um, Urban Decay Primer Potion, Bad Gal Lash. Bobbi Brown Gel Liner in Black Ink, Zero by Urban Decay, uh, Chanel, ooh, this one I got in, in Spain, um, Rose Platine Liner, it's freaking awesome, I'm telling you it's awesome, YSL Fard Lumiere Aqua Resistant, it's like water resistant um, eyeshadow, and I don't know, it's the nude color. Um, a sharpener, flashy ultra green Sephora waterproof liner, um, this Urban Decay liner, heavy metal glitter liner in distortion to put over the green which looks really cool, uh, Makeup Forever number 92 shadow. Okay so then the lip bag is basically empty um, and what's in there is I have a MAC Good Lovin' lip glass from the Surf Baby Collection. I have <clears throat> Mocha from the Surf Baby Collection, but it's just, um, it's a permanent lipstick. Um, then I have a MAC liner. Um, it's called Whirl. Yeah, it's just basically my lip color. And then I have a lipstick by NYX, Black Label Lipstick in Summer in Hampton. Then I have um, <clears throat> three lipsticks I bought in Spain. They were 
0.99 euros, like 99 cents. Um, they're Carlo Roma. Let me just make sure. Uh, Carlo di Roma. I don't know if they have names, but this is a cool, like, neon pink color. It looks... Yeah, there, it looks better. I've literally been obsessed with um, with this one. This is the Classic Diamante in number 107. I don't like how they don't have names. But it's like shimmer, it's just a stick of glitter, basically. And I put it with my lip brush here and up here, and I really like it. Um, I'll, I, I'll show you guys sometime. I've just been wearing balm and then putting this, like, there and up here yeah so it looks like you have light on your lips even though you don't Ugh, tricky so yeah that's really good and then another one is a classic diamante color in number 103 what oh one this is classic diamante one this is classic diamante two this one is like a cool shimmery bronze and the diamante colors are basically like yeah glitter on a stick is basically what it is then i have some skin stuff in this paul and joe bag and or the red like hair and skin stuff um I'm, this i'm bringing my 212 perfume from spain um i have my pureology anti-fade complex super straight relaxing hair serum and i have a razor um my cleansing oil that I did in my June favorites. Uh, it's a 10 miracle leave-in product that I put in, again, to detangler and stuff after I get out of the shower. Oh, I have a few makeup products in here that I threw in that after I zipped up everything. Swell Baby Eyeshadow from, the, it's just a sparkly gray from the Max Surf Baby Collection. My Murad Acne Spot Treatment for Emergencies. My Urban Decay Karma Brush that came with the Naked Palette that I forgot to put it in. Um, Ban. Uh, SC Nail Polish in My Private Cabana. My f It's my favorite light nail polish. And my contacts. <laughs> so, yeah. That's um, basically all the things that I'm putting in my bag to be checked. I packed a small bag for the airplane. What I packed in there is a new Milani baked bronzer and that's what I'm wearing right now and my skin like I don't know if you can see right now but I look really tan when I wear it I mean I am tan but I don't have like that definition like on my cheeks like I just don't get like that tan that goes like a mask like I don't get that so I saw makeup by Mel did a video and um, she used this and it was awesome I got it's the darkest color I peeled off the sticker but it looks like this it's really pretty it's like a mineralized skin finish I really like that and then it has a brush and a um, mirror, but I don't use this brush because I really have to shake off whatever big brush I use when I use this because it's really dark and really pigmented, but it gives a really pretty result. So, um, then I have my Marc Jacobs Compact. I have a, a 129 Special Edition or something MAC brush to put this on with. I have a Paul and Joe under eye concealer, which actually just matches my entire skin right now, so that's my concealer. Um, I have my new favorite balm. I got it a week ago, but it's awesome, and I'm wearing it right now, just that, with that little lipstick that I just put on. Um, Creme de Rose by Christian Dior. It's Rose Lip Balm, and it's and it smells really good. It feels really good. I put it on all the time. That's what I've been wearing on my lips, no like lipstick or anything. Because I feel like summer is not a time to wear, like, heavy lip gloss because the breeze and everything. Um, and then finally, the last product, oh, it's all in this YSL bag. And the last product in there is the Dior Addict Lipstick in um, 333 Nude. And it goes on completely nude. So, yeah. And, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, leave any more requests. Uh, message me with any questions. Um... Yeah, that's it, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Um, I'm heading to Boston tomorrow morning. I'll be there at 11 a.m. tomorrow. Um, so talk to you guys later. Bye.